Back now with our countdown to Paris. The 2024 Olympics will be different than any other games. Our chief international correspondent, Keir Simmons, is live in France. Beautiful backdrop. Good morning, Keir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, guys. Listen, I know, I know we always talk about the Green Olympics, but here in Paris, they're going to make it so much fun. 95% of the venues are already there because they are venues like underneath, underneath the Eiffel Tower, where there'll be beach volleyball and swimming in the Seine. <laughs> The Paris Olympics is promising to be spectacular and environmentally sustainable. By using world-famous city landmarks as venues, the International Olympic Committee is minimizing their environmental impact, lessening their carbon footprint. Bringing historical French architecture into the limelight by transforming them into sporting arenas. To reduce their carbon emissions, they will even close some key roads. Robin. Hello. Hey, how are, how are you? you? Meaning these guys will be busy. Bye. Want an alternative tour of the city? This green taxi service started eight months ago. So this is the world famous Place de Vendôme, <laughs> right? Yeah, with all the jewellery and everything. It's beautiful and it's fashionable. And yeah. we're, we're getting to see all of it because you, you really see a lot more in this. Yeah, you have a great view. Yeah. Like, 180 degrees view. Paris 2024 set itself a target, not to exceed one and a half million tons of CO2, less than half the average carbon footprint of the previous summer games. One of its sustainability commitments, cuisine. The objective of zero food waste by quantity, recycling 100% of non-consumed food and designing recipes that reduce the risk of waste. At this Michelin-starred restaurant, I find chef Akrim Benalal. He's been designing nutritious meals for the athletes and amazingly, he asked me to help him. Only the Paris Olympics would have a michelin star chef to cook for the athletes. Yeah. Only in Paris. The food, organic, and designed with the sustainable theme, the focus on healthy vegetables. It's the quinoa, we fry this. Wow. So okay. it's crispy. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's crunchy. Yeah. Mm. Estelle, hi. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Estelle's job is to oversee catering for the thousands of Olympians who will descend on Paris in just over 12 months. We want to really showcase the gastronomic food and what's happening now in France and particularly in Paris. Yeah, the world's athletes are never going to have been better fed. Yes, where we're sourcing the product, we committed to 30% of that sourcing to be 155 miles away from the actual games take place in Paris. It's really amazing to be part of this. And if Team USA are looking for a taste of home, this could be a good choice. Cocktails and snacks, my kind of place. Jennifer and Allison are from New York and California. Ah, you're from Brooklyn. Yes. OK, so East Coast, West Coast. Exactly. I love it. Jennifer made her move across the pond over 10 years ago. The idea that I wanted to live in Paris came first. And then it was around figuring out what I could contribute to Paris that would be worthwhile. We also wanted to bring something of our own flavors and our culture. They say they created Apricot Bar to bring together Americans and locals. It's like a little piece of America in Paris. It really is. It's so friendly. It's so nice. Everybody's warm. It's just a nice place to come in, have a drink, or have a plate of nachos. Bringing people together. It's what the Olympics is all about. I love that bar so much, guys. They aim to make all their food and drink plant-based and organic and therefore sustainable. And it is still delicious. A little like this glass of rosé that oh. I'm uh, sipping on between takes. Oh, trust yes. us. We, we noticed. Wine glass. And we all want those uh, wine glasses. You? That's going to be a thing. <laughs> Yeah, you're, I know that's so good, right? You're it's sustainable perfect. here. <laughs> I love that. You sustain the good life. I love that. <laughs> we love you, my friend. It was yes. great, Kier. Thank you. Be well, my friends. All right. We'll be right back. I like I that. Him. Be well. He's the be best. Well, my hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.